What's up, people? Smash Ultimate, or Smultimate, like I like to call it because that's what it's going to be called in the future because I'm the pioneer and because I said it, that's what it's going to be called. Smultimate is upon us. Now, Smultimate looks like it's going to be the Smash game that I've been waiting for for a long time. Melee was always my favorite Smash game to play. I had the most fun with Smash 4 because that's where I met a lot of people. I played against a lot of people. Smash 4 had online. Melee didn't. Didn't like Brawl at all. But Melee was my favorite Smash games in terms of mechanics. Smash 4 was my favorite Smash games in terms of playing against people online and whatnot. If you combine the two, I felt like it would always be a masterful game. And that's what Smash Ultimate seems to be. You have the character and the roster of Smash 4 and Brawl with not really the mechanics of Melee, but it kind of looks sort of like Melee in terms of speed and whatnot. Now, right now, I feel like the speed of the game is overestimated, but I feel like once people start mastering the movement and whatnot and dash canceling and all that stuff that we're going to talk about later, I feel like it could rival the speed of Melee. Now, let's talk about certain things that make me super excited about this new Smash games. Let's talk about the roster first. It has every single Smash Brothers character that you could possibly want to play. You want to play Cloud? We got Cloud. You want to play Ryu? We got Ryu. You want to play Bayonetta? We got Bayonetta. You want to play Snake? We got Snake. You want to play uh, Waluigi? We don't got Waluigi. He's probably in the game as an assist trophy, but you cannot play as Waluigi. Sadly, I don't know why you would want to play as Waluigi. But we do have Ridley. Who wouldn't want to play as Ridley? Ridley can down B you, and if it tippers, it does 50 damage and it crumples you, and he can get a free smash attack off of it. Who wouldn't want to play that? I know you don't have Waluigi, and for some reason, people want to play Waluigi. I don't know why people want to play Waluigi, but we have Ridley. Now, let's move on from the characters to the stages. I don't know if it has every single stage that could possibly be played in uh, the Smash Brothers series, but it has a lot of them. Even as that stage, if you remember on the 64 where Pokemon would come out of the door and you had the platforms on the left side and you just had the stage on the right and whatnot. Yeah, it has that stage too. I don't even know if I explained that well. What other stages we got? Uh, oh, wait. Let's not talk about stages, but let's talk about what we can do on stages. You can make a stage Omega again. Omega makes a return. Or you can make a stage a Battlefield type stage where it has the three tri platforms. Or you can make a stage the same stage without hazards. So you could put on Mega Man stage and you could turn off hazards so the yellow piece of garbage doesn't come out. Or you could put on Midgar and you could turn off the hazards so the uh, summons won't come out. It's pretty cool and it makes more stages viable to be legal. I believe you can go on Delfino and you can turn off hazards and you just stay on Delfino. Like the, the initial Delfino and it won't travel around in any different places. What else? Let's talk about gameplay mechanics. So in terms of gameplay mechanics, you have something called dash canceling that I talked about before. Whereas, you can dash up and you can cancel your dash into any move. Where, you can dash up and you can dash, stop dashing, you can do jabs. So you can dash, you can stop dash, you can do up tilt, or forward tilt, or up smash, or forward smash. That seems like it's going to be whoever masters that is going to be a top tier player in this game, along with whoever masters neutral. That's going to be a big part of neutral in my opinion. You also have different air dodges. You have directional air dodge, where just like melee, you can air dodge in different directions, but you can't wave dash because of the fact that air dashing or air dodging gives you a lot of landing lag. And there's also a lock on when you can air dodge. Like you can't jump and you can't air dodge immediately down to the ground. You have to jump, wait a little bit, and then when you get to a certain height, then you can air dodge. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like instant air dash in the game, except this instant air dodge. Like you can jump and then once you reach a certain height then you can air dodge. What else? And then you have your uh you have your air dodge where you stay in place, which has less lag than directional air dodge. Like directional air dodge has so much lag to where if you're Mario and you directional air dodge to where you're parallel with the uh with the ledge, then you'll fall and die and you won't be able to make it back. You can still up B out of air dodge, but you go so low where you won't make it back to ledge. What else do we have? Uh, if you roll too much, then your roll gets laggier and it gets easier to punish. So you can't just spam rolls and whatnot in Smash Brothers anymore. 
what else do we have? Uh, we have some new items for you casuals. We have like black hole item, which is basically a, a item that is dark rise black hole. Uh, but it doesn't put you to sleep. Uh, what else do we have? Um, that's pretty much all I can think about. Oh, also, this is also something else. You have a, uh, you have instant short hop to where if you buffer, if you jump and you buffer an attack at the same time, then your character automatically short hops. So they made short hopping easier. Um, they have different, uh, UI changes to where if you look at the bottom, let's say you play Cloud, right? And Cloud is charging limit. If you look at his portrait right over his head, it'll show how much limit he has. If you play Villager and you pocket an item, it will show the item that Villager has pocketed over Villager's head. Um, anything else we got? Oh, there's also a mini map that shows you how close you are to the blast zone when you're about to get knocked off, when you're about to get KO'd off the stage. And yeah, there's just different quality of life changes to the game that makes it just so easy to look at and whatnot. I think that this Smash game would be the ultimate Smash game. Well, that's why it's called Smash Ultimate, I guess. There wasn't a pun intended, but ended up being a pun. Yeah. Can't wait to play it. It comes out December 7th. No, yes, December 7th, 2018. A week before my birthday. I'm ready. In the future, I will be talking about different characters, maybe, and what I think about different characters. Sadly, I did not get a chance to play it in New York or E3 or anything because I didn't go to New York or E3. But... I did talk it to a lot of people who did play the game, and I'm pretty smart about seeing characters and seeing gameplay and being able to put together how a meta or how a champion should be played and things like that. So I will be making videos in the future talking about different characters and whatnot, and I will be talking about different updates to the game as we go along, different character reveals and whatnot. But for now, this is the end. This is King Delta 7 signing off. Peace.